morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, world. Happy New Year. It is 2024. We are starting the training for Ironman Philippines. One thing that I'm thinking about as I'm starting this new journey, it kind of feels like jumping off a cliff. <laughs> it feels like the moment where you're about to jump off and you're kind of like hesitating right now that's where i feel like i'm at so today is the day where i jump metaphorically into the water head on fully commit because that's what you have to do you have to fully commit to the jump and this is what i'm doing now so i'm here at 24 hour fitness we're gonna get a quick workout in on today's workout is gonna be a swim so uh i'm base building right now i don't have a specific plan that I'm following. I'm following the plan that uh, Iron Man is providing. Before we get into all that, my goal is to race a full Iron Man in six months of training. And um, this one's going to be in the Philippines. Racing in the Philippines will allow me to not only be healthy, but also look forward to because I have family in the Philippines and I've never really dove into my Filipino culture. And uh, I think this is a great and amazing way to do that and uh, learn to just learn more about my culture. And um, also Korea is in Asia as well. So um, I'm half Korean as well. And I would definitely want to learn more about my Korean culture as well. So this year, uh, one of the New Year's resolutions is to do that, and we're here. Since I have no training plan or no coach or anything like that, I'm gonna be doing the same workouts that I've been doing. Mondays, chest, triceps, and abs. And then uh, I'm gonna go for 30 to 40 minute swim just to build that base, but right now we're getting some gains. is the swim part of the workout uh, a little bit of background I do not know how to swim um, like for distance I know how to swim just in general but um, not for long distances or for a certain amount of time so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna get a coach and everything but in the meantime I'm just gonna be working on building my base swimmers down below comment and let me know what you would do uh or just tips and tricks because again i'm completely new to swimming and uh we're gonna try our best and hopefully i mean people are there to to ask around questions and stuff but um this is a hundred percent from scratch learning how to swim let's go <laughs> January 2nd. Last night I went to Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai. These are some of the last classes I'm taking before I cancel the membership. That way I can use some of that money towards a triathlon coach. I have a call scheduled with Nathan Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Today we're here at the gym and we're gonna do some back and some biceps strength workout. And then we have a cycle on the schedule. Um, I believe I have a hole in my tube for my bike so I'm gonna get that repaired I'm gonna go to REI get the tube replace it see if that works because right now my tire is not holding air and then I'll update you guys when I'm at REI all right so I haven't gone to jiu-jitsu class in like four or five months and 
I'm pretty sore. So we're working through it. And honestly, I'm gonna miss doing jujitsu. It was just so much fun. Um, but we'll be back. We actually have a goal of um, doing an MMA fight this year. So we're gonna be doing an MMA fight this year also towards the end of the year. Yeah, I've been putting it off, getting repaired too, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, shout out to REI. Super dope if you have a membership. If you buy the tube, they'll replace it for free. So that was pretty cool. Shout out to Caesar. That was pretty dope. Uh, just learning a little bit more about the bike. Because again, I'm brand new to the sport and uh, brand new to swimming. So uh, that was very knowledgeable information. Right now I'm in Camarillo. I'm gonna go for a ride, um, probably about 10 miles. Super easy, gonna ease into it. Uh, don't wanna push it too hard. I got some hydration in here as well. We're gonna put that on the bike. Um, my friend Willie uh, lives in Camarillo. That's actually why I drove out here. Or his parents live in Camarillo and he told me that there's a hat waiting for me you know, on the porch so we're gonna ride there and back uh, this should be fun because uh, for people that don't know I used to live in Camarillo and it'll be cool just riding around and seeing all the spots that I used to walk around at yeah we're gonna go on this 10 mile or so bike ride I'll see you guys on the ride Hey, look at this. Thank you, Willie. Holland Runners. Ironman training yesterday's workout went pretty well the bike ride it was about 12 miles felt pretty good what I was thinking on the ride is that I have to do this for a hundred more miles it doesn't seem out of the realm of possibility but the only thing that I'm like concerned about is the swim but if I keep putting in the work keep putting in the reps learning how to swim properly I think I'll be good for that 2.4 mile swim we only have a run today so uh, and we're gonna lift we're here at the gym so let's get this lift in and then go run all right we got an easy five miles on the schedule uh not on any type of program but we're doing this to maintain so we have a call today with coach nathan we'll see how that goes but right now we have a five mile run easy let's get it you guys might be able to hear this on the, the microphone, but it is a windy one. It's a windy one today, but we're still going to get it done. Easy five miles complete. Now we're walking matcha for a cool down and uh, we're going to get ready for this call at 1.30 with Nathan, Coach Nathan, and uh, I might take my bike and install these uh, carbon fiber drop uh, drop down bars that um, S2K Hertz gave me. Shout out to S2K Hertz. That's his Instagram name. Um, but yeah, I might do that. Oh. I did in high school 
for about three years. So that's just my running background. Um, swimming background, I do not know how to swim, as yeah. as you saw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, cycling, I've, I've never cycled more than like 25 uh, miles. Um, the reason why I want to do this, and especially the, that's the reason why I chose the Philippines, is because um, I don't know much about my culture. Um, my, you know, my I'm first generation. My pa- my mom's from the Philippines. My dad is from Korea. So Iron Man Philippines would be an awesome opportunity for me to go back there, race, but also learn about my culture. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so I, I know that it's uh, very ambitious, but um, you know what? We're here. Yeah, without a goal, you can't score. So exactly. <laughs> Gotta aim for something. Um, have you been to the Philippines ever? Like never, never been to the Philippines. Okay, nice. So it'll be like a little race, a little vacation, get right? To see everything that'll be cool. Yeah. Um, and also, I just want to, you know, just film my journey, and mm-hmm. um, hopefully that will inspire other people to learn about their culture and where they're from, stuff like that. So oh, that's really cool. I think that's. That's you got a cool story, you know. I think people will watch it, and yeah. I think that that would be interesting and stuff. Um, and I think there's there's so many like um, pros out there on YouTube who like video and like their races and like tell their stories and stuff. But I find it like even I'm a professional athlete, but it's just not super relatable sometimes. So I feel like you telling your story would be like really cool, and it would relate to a lot more people than even like especially more than like some like the pros who have like youtube channels and stuff so. right and i you know i work a full-time job so uh like 40 hours a week um yeah so uh, you know no responsibilities no kids no wife or anything like that so i feel yeah. like now is like the best opportunity to do this stuff yeah totally for sure <laughs> i guess i just want to ask you like what are you hoping to get out of coaching um just to see if this like would work out and if I would be a really good fit for you right Um, because obviously like without good swim training doing two and a half miles in the ocean is going to be really hard right so like that's a pretty obvious way I could help you Um, and I've been teaching swim lessons since I was like 16 I was a lifeguard at the YMCA and I actually taught a lot of adult swim lessons too okay like people even in their 40s and 50s who were like trying to learn how to swim Right. Um, I thought this one woman from the Caribbean who was like 46 or something and she wanted to learn how to swim so I have a lot of experience doing that and then also like competitive swim coaching and stuff um, cycling is probably one of the things I have the most background in too because I've just been riding bikes for a long time I got my coaching cert in 2020 in the beginning of 2020 so it's been just a couple years but I really enjoy it and I try to mostly just coach people who have like ambitious goals and have like something in mind they want to achieve rather than just like someone to tell them to do workouts, you know? Right. Um, Because I don't have to coach necessarily. Like I can still do everything that I do without the coaching. So it's not as much for the income it's more for like I really want to help people like achieve their goals kind of thing right like that's really motivating to me and I like to see people like kind of reach for the stars and like go for it you know what are you hoping to get out of like coaching and stuff it's mainly like the swimming part because swimming is like that that first swim that you saw me on I was like holy shit like what am I getting myself into yeah um but you know after some tips i'm like okay this is somewhat doable because if you're just swimming without proper technique um you could actually like make things a lot worse for yourself yeah that makes sense because you'll develop so many bad habits all right good morning world it is fry fuck all right good morning world it is thursday january 4th We're here at Dick's Sporting Goods because it is a swim day and I need a swim cap. So I'm going to pick up a swim cap and then head to the gym, to the pool. And then um, we're going to get this workout in. Um, So 
I downloaded uh, Training Peaks, which Nathan, the, my, my coach, is gonna give me all of the workouts on. So uh, yesterday's call went really good and uh, we're in full force for training. Um, but yeah, let's get the swim cap. Okay, this is a uh, latex, five bucks. I'm not gonna get that. Might as well go with the silicone cap <clears throat> for now. All right, got it. There's also a bunch of cool other stuff here, but I'm not gonna get it right now. All right, you guys are witnessing the first time ever me putting on a swim cap. Let's see how this goes. Ah, uh, how's that look? Hey, it doesn't look bad. Does not look bad at all. Let's, all right, let's go. gentlemen it is friday january 5th and uh today's workout is a leg workout and then uh, i just opened up training peaks and uh looks like nathan got some workouts in so today's iron man workouts are a one hour bike ride i think it's a zone two which you want to keep your heart rate pretty low and then after that i got a 30 minute run this is the first block of training and block means doing two things on the same day uh, this is where I'm interested to feel how uh, I'll feel after the run but um, yeah I'm just glad that I have uh, a coach and also you know workouts on demand so I don't have to make up workouts because you know I've never had a coach what I love about having a coach is just being able to wake up and, and have a workout ready because a lot of the times I'll have to like think and plan. So this takes away a lot of the, a lot of the planning thinking and uh, it just saves me a lot more mental energy, which uh, is really nice. But yeah, that's uh, today's workout. hear me but we are on PCH right now uh, we got an hour bike ride I mean look at this view guys perks of living in Southern California anyways we got a hour bike ride so I'm gonna go 30 minutes from where I parked 30 minutes back that's an hour and then we got a 30 minute run after that so Training has officially started with legitimate workouts, but it's a beautiful day out. We're uh, 30 minutes in, 9.26 miles, and then uh, we're turning around, so it's gonna be about 18 miles. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. This guy just passed me right now. Should I catch him? No, I don't think I should catch him. Um, around and then we're gonna start the run. 
Okay, we're back like 16 miles. And then uh, we're gonna go for this 30 minute run. Workout is complete. Still can't get over the fact that it's so beautiful out right now. Ooh, I feel good, I feel great. Ooh, all right, here we go. 30 minute run. Let's get this bread. Huh, interesting. I know it's very, very early on in the training, but right now I feel, I feel really good. Um, I looked down at my watch. I was like, oh damn, I'm running a 742 pace. So that means we're on the right track, I hope. Whew. 15 minutes, we're turning around right now. All right, we are done. 30 minute run. That was, uh, I think it was like 3.75 miles, something like that. Um, felt really good. Felt like I can hold that pace for about two hours. So, I mean, that felt good, but I mean, it's very early on in the process and um, I'm excited for what's to come. I started to, on that run, just believe even more that it's possible. Um, you know, I remember Monday that I was kind of skeptical, but now that I've gone through the motions and, uh, have a coach, um, I do feel like it's possible. So that's a very, very good plus, but, uh, still more to come. Thank you guys. Good morning, beautiful world. It is Saturday, January 6th and we are here at 24 hour fitness it's a cold one out so I, on my drive here i thought i was gonna you know do my usual run but you know what i was like let me switch it up we'll do a treadmill run and then that way we can get into the swim right after we got a 45 minute run and then a 30 minute swim so uh, my legs feel okay from yesterday and I don't feel that bad. I just feel tired. But yeah, we're gonna get this workout in. Let's get it. Forty-five minute workout complete. And now we got thirty minute swim. I haven't ran on a treadmill in like a year. This feels really good there's a fan like right above me uh, i'm able to have my water bottle down but um yeah time for a swim all right here we go 30 minute swim Woo! hey good, good yourself yeah I mean, good. so i can get a uh, look at the form and everything yeah yeah good, good experience. oh yeah all right well as soon as i got in the pool uh there's a lady that said the classes were starting. So we're not gonna let that stop us. We're gonna go to Oxnard and get our swimming. <laughs> 